Our parents and teachers tell us from a young age that everyone is a winner, but we all know that isn't true. As an athlete, if you're not winning, you're losing. So would you do whatever it takes? From a superhuman leap to the finish line, to surveillance spying of competing teams, here are the five most unusual things athletes did to win. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number five, Superman jump. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a remarkable athlete. It can be quite nerve wracking competing in any sporting event with your closest rivals. It's anyone's win, and you know it's likely to come down to the wire. In the case of Texas A&M University track star Infinite Tucker, it came down to pulling a stunt out of the bag to secure the win. When Infinite competed in the 2019 SEC Track and Field Championship 400 meter hurdles, he was within a hair's length of his teammate Robert Grant. Both men had the pace, and it was almost looking like a photo finish. That was until Infinite, who had obviously binge watched superhero films on Netflix the night before, decided to pull the Superman pose and dive over the finish line to secure the win for himself. After launching himself over the final hurdle, it was all or nothing. He thrashed his arms out in front of him, leaped into the air, and stole first place. After the race was over and Infinite was declared the winner, he tried to come up with a story for his actions that may or may not have been all that accurate. He told ESPN, who was reporting on the event, that he saw his mother at the finish line and jumped to give her a hug. And that's all it is, he said. The Texas A&M head coach, Pat Henry, joked about Infinite's unusual finish to the race and how running is always the preferred option over winning, rather than diving. He ended by saying he thought he was a swim team guy today. After that dramatic win, Infinite finished in a time of 49.38 seconds and was the 2019 collegiate and US leader. He also ranked 10th in the world and finished second in last year's race. Maybe he would have won in the previous year's hurdles with that dive move. Watch this space. There are bound to be other athletes who follow in Infinite Tucker's footsteps. Number 4. Hiring V Energy When you're desperate to win something, it's not uncommon to pray to a higher power to make it be. Even if you're not a big believer in outside influences or forces, anything might help, right? But the Los Angeles Dodgers may have shown their true desperate colors a little too prominently under the ownership and leadership of then-franchise owner Frank McCord. To give them credit where credit is due, the following unusual act to win was probably not their idea, or they may not have even known about it at all. Frank McCord, who used to own the franchise, had his dirty laundry aired during messy divorce proceedings with his now ex-wife Jamie McCord. One of the more prominent scandals was that he had paid a Russian scientist and self-named healer a six-figure salary to send positive energy to the team. Every baseball team is desperate to win a World Series, but a healer who sends positive energy is next level. The healer, who goes by the name of Vladimir Spunt and often V Energy, had immigrated to the United States with the assistance of physicist Zoris Alvarov, who described Vladimir as an inventor, an eminent scientist. While he knew nothing about baseball, Frank McCourt paid Vladimir a rather fat pay packet for five long years of what could have been his thoughts and prayers, and it was all in the hope that his team could win a World Series. According to Vladimir, he is a scientist and healer, but not a magician. He never claimed he could help the Dodgers win, but he thought he could make a difference. He said, maybe it is just a little, maybe it can help. In his five years of assisting the LA Dodgers, Vladimir attended one game. He watched the rest on TV around 3,000 miles away from the home team stadium. He claimed to channel his thoughts and aid in the team's success. V Energy was kept a secret from the team and even its top executives. However, there's always going to be a time limit on how long you can explain away hundreds of thousands of dollars. What's more, there is no evidence to suggest V Energy ever worked to secure the team a win, nor did it work on player Jason Wirth, who Vladimir was asked to heal. If that's not unusual enough, Frank McCourt was in hot water for a whole host of strange purchases with LA Dodger funds. He is thought to have hired his sons to work for him for $600,000 with no proof they actually carried out any work and he spent $150,000 of Dodgers money on haircuts, not to mention seven country clubs and four homes between Malibu and Holmby Hills. In 2011 and 2012, Major League Baseball took over the control of the Dodgers from Frank over concerns of a loss of confidence in the owner and financial strife. The team filed for bankruptcy and negotiated a loan with the MLB to keep themselves going. In 2012, the LA Dodgers was sold to Guggenheim Baseball Group, led by Mark Walter, for $2.15 billion. Number 3. Competition Surveillance The New England Patriots may have missed the memo about how fairness, professionalism, and hard work can get you the win, not heavy surveillance. As it turns out, it's something that athletes may use to try and win anyway. 
In 2007, the Patriots and their team were caught spying on the New York Jets to steal and study their sideline signals. An intern working for the Patriots videoed the defensive signals from the sideline so that the team could work out what they are and what the Jets would do before they did it. Classic one step ahead move. However, they didn't stop there and it's no wonder they received a hefty fine and penalty. Once they had the information they needed, they allegedly set up a hidden radio frequency so team personnel could pass on information to the quarterback once the allotted time by NFL was up. Rules dictate that all communication with those on the sideline must cease once the clock reaches 15 seconds. According to a New York Times article, with the hidden radio frequency, New England Patriots personnel had a direct line of communication to quarterback Tom Brady. At any time, he could know which receivers were open play by play, all from the coach's mouth. When all this information came to light, drama ensued. The saga was given the name of Spygate, and a full investigation was underway. For videoing the defensive signals from an unauthorized location, the National Football League fined the team's coach, Bill Belichick, $500,000. This fine was the maximum allowed and the largest imposed on a coach in the NFL's history. The New England Patriots team was fined $250,000 and their first round selection was docked. What have we learned here today? That no matter how unusual your tactics are for winning, that doesn't mean they're right. Number 2. Hornet Vomit Eating right and staying fit and healthy can undoubtedly improve your chances of securing the win. But would it be worth it if you had to eat vomit? Japanese runner Naoko Takahashi might think so. Whenever an athlete proves their worth in their respective fields, people always ask what their secret is. After setting a new record during the women's marathon event of the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia, then another at a marathon in Berlin, it was only a matter of time before someone asked what hers was. Maybe we're better off not knowing. Naoko says that the vomit of giant hornet larvae could be the key to her on-track performance. Institute of Physical and Chemical Research researcher Takashi Abe found that the Asian giant hornet, known as Vespa mandarinia, produced larvae with a unique amino acid. Given that the insect can fly at rapid speeds of 25 miles per hour and for up to 60 miles while on the hunt for dinner, it was worth trying to get what they seem to have. The researcher, Takashi, synthesized the amino acid, then added it to VAM, Vespa amino acid mixture, which is an energy drink. Not only does Naoko claim that the vomit drink is her secret weapon, but so too do several other Japanese runners. Many of those who have researched the amino acids and tried the drink for themselves believe it offers stamina, a metabolism boost, and fat-burning properties. A study with a small sample group showed increased oxygen intake and decreased fat in aging women as well. At this stage, studies are limited, but anyone who wants to drink insect vomit is welcome to do so in products such as VAM, Vespa, and Hornet Juice. The drink is marketed as a nutritional supplement for high endurance sports, sustained energy, and marathons. While you might think you can save money and go right to the source, the Asian giant hornet, that's not advisable. This insect goes by the name of Yak Killer Hornet for a reason. It's the largest hornet in the world and has a sting that contains potent venom. Being stung by this insect feels like having hot nails driven into your legs, or so etymologists say. As hornets don't die after stinging and can inflict multiple stings, there's always a risk of illness and fatality. Stings can cause kidney failure, and those who get stung should seek medical help. In 2013, 41 people died, and more than 1,600 were injured at the hands of this hornet. Number 1. Goalkeeper Head Kissing It's one thing to pat your teammates on the back as you run onto the field for good luck, but it's entirely another to kiss them. However, that was apparently what it took to build team spirit and promote a winning attitude. Before every World Cup match in 1998, French national football team defender Laurent Blanc would kiss the team's goalkeeper, Fabien Barthez, on his bald head and wish him good luck. While it was never intended as anything showworthy, it didn't take long for it to become so. It became known as their winning recipe for success. With each kiss and game, the team continued to enjoy triumphs on the field. The French national football team was not one to shoot down or discount superstitions, so alongside kissing the goalkeeper's head, they would also listen to I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor in the dressing room. Right throughout the World Cup, this tradition proved lucky, but a spanner was about to be thrown in the works. Laurent Blanc was disqualified from the final game. Not only was the team worried about securing the win, but who would deliver that fateful kiss? Instead of giving someone else the task and risk of messing with a powerful winning force, Laurent Blanc came out onto the sports pitch before the game in a standard uniform. He delivered one last kiss and secured France's fate. In that final game, they beat Brazil 3-0 and won the World Cup for the first time. When Laurent retired from football altogether, Fabien Barthez didn't let anyone else deliver the pregame kiss. There can be a lot at stake as an athlete, which is probably why they go crazy lengths to secure the win. What have you done to try and win? Did it pay off? 
Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. See you next time.